<laughs> oh, ain't this a sad little sight? You having fun sitting in the dark all alone, boy? Or were you waiting up for me? That's adorable. I know you look forward to my little visits. You really come alive when I step through the door. Just the click of the lock is enough to get you scrambling to the wall. Of course, that might be because you think you're getting an evening visitor. Someone who's coming to do some unspeakable things to you in the dead of night. Which, from what I've been hearing, it's a lot more common a topic than you'd think. Oh, yes indeed. The camp is all abuzz with the latest haul. Plenty of treasure, goods, wine, and horses. But you know, the only thing that people seem to be able to talk about is the only thing that I claimed out of all of that. Suppose it wouldn't be a bandit gang if they didn't covet what they didn't have. I wouldn't worry about it, though. The boss stepped in before things got out of hand, and you ended up with these. Nice and sturdy bars to keep the riffraff out. Hey, kind of like how it was for you back home, if you think about it. If you close your eyes and just ignore the mildew and rust, it's just like being back at your fancy house, huh? The only thing that's different here is you're not looking down on the rest of us just at a dank brick wall and thank god the bars are there the stuff i've overheard <laughs> it curdles the blood but lucky for you the boss is the only one who has the keys to this door no one but him can get to you and believe me no one is more pissed about that than me. Oh, if these bars weren't in my way, I would have had so much fun with you already. When I think about all the good quality bonding time that was wasted because of that. You know, after I brought you back, me and the boss, we had a long talk. See... He wasn't very pleased that I didn't plan on ransoming you, oh no. He kept talking about how much we could make off of you. How if your daddy didn't want to cough up some coin, then the slave drivers would pay hand over fist for royal stock. He said, Elijah, you and I both know that selling him off is better than just wasting our stock of food on feeding that scrawny little whelp. And you know what? He was right. He's a smart guy, you know. Went to college. It does indeed take a lot to run this camp. And things have to be tailored to a very specific amount of men. Can't be wasting money on things that go bad before we get to use them. And everybody needs a share, after all. So, as much as it pains me, and as much fun as you are, you can't earn anything for us, so it would make sense to just sail you down the river. Ah, uh, don't go tearing up, boy. This isn't easy for me, either. Ah, shit. Getting misty-eyed. Fuck. I need a hanky. Hold up. Oh, what's this? Oh, do you know what these are, boy? This is the boss's key ring. Now, when did I pick this up? Ah, maybe he took mine by mistake. Oh, wait. No, no. I remember. I fished it off of him after I bled him like the swine he was. He was a smart guy, no doubt. But his fatal flaw was that he loved money too much. Love for money makes it so you can be bargained with. Call me old-fashioned, but bandits should just 
take whatever they want. No point in trying to reason with unreasonable men. <laughs> but now he's gone. Guess that makes me the boss. And what was it that the boss could get to? That one thing no one else could. Aw, what's with that face? This is a good thing, boy. Now we can make up for lost time. As soon as I find the right key, we can get started with our long overdue little play date. Hey, what do you figure the odds are I get the right one on my first try? Oh, uh, that's not it. So, I'm thinking we should celebrate the occasion. I did just get a big promotion after all. So why not just throw a little party? Just me and you. Ah, but what to do? Hmm. Maybe we could play with some fire. That's always fun. Ah, wrong again. You don't seem like you like that idea. How about some knives? I can demonstrate how to cut meat from bone without dulling your blade. Oh, maybe I can even show you the trick I use on the boss. Ah, damn. Two left. One of them's gotta be it. You know, you're not leaving me with much of an option here, so... Eh, fuck it. Why don't we just do all the above? I think I'll just put you in a chair and have a nice little spread of all of my favorite things for us to enjoy all night long. Aha, uh -huh. that's the one. I should remember that. Uh, this has got me feeling all nostalgic. Feels like our first meeting all over again. No more walls, baby boy. Just you, me, and a delightfully intimate evening ahead of us. So, are you ready? Well, don't just cower on the ground. Get to move on. The food's gonna get cold. Yeah, the food. It's just outside. Come on, you can hold my hand if you wanna. Alright, well, at least let me get the door for you. <laughs> That's a cute yelp. What, has his highness never gotten his ass slapped before? Oh, I can't promise I won't do it again. If only there was some way to occupy my hand. Ah, good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Just this way, I had the boys set up a nice private dinner. Candles, a good steak, and one chair. Well, that's almost everything I wanted. Wonder how we'll solve this little seating arrangement. Oh, I know. Come sit on my lap, boy. Oh, I'm serious as a heart attack. Come on. Best seat in the house. That's it. Get nice and cozy. So... Where shall we start then? What looks good? A little appetizer, some wine, or shall we just cut to the meat? I know what I want to have, but how about you? Some wine. Good choice. Let's loosen up a bit. Alright, there you go. Wait. Ah, 
can't believe this slipped my mind. I got you a gift. No, really. I noticed how sad you were when we took that necklace with your family crest away. So, I pulled some strings and got you this. Ain't it beautiful? Finely tooled leather and a nice shiny buckle complete with a little bell. Every dog should have a nice collar, don't you think? Oh, no need to be modest, boy. I'm sure you'd look just ravishing in it. Here, I'll help you put it on. Oh, easy now. You nearly spilled your wine. I'd hate to have the evening ruined by making a mess. Let's save that for later, hmm? <laughs> now hold still. And there. You know, my fashion sense is questionable. But when I get it right, I get it damn right. You are more beautiful now than you've ever been, darling. How's it fit? Tight. Oh, good. I always make sure the flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. See, if you do it that way, you never get used to the feeling of wearing it. The collar will dig in whenever you turn your head too fast or swallow. Serves as a reminder of who you belong to. It's like constantly having my hand around your pretty little throat. It's a thoughtful gift. What do you say? Of course, boy. Only the best for you. Now, let's get you that drink. Might be a bit hard to swallow now, but do try not to choke. Ah, oh, hell. Look what you gone and did, boy. After I just told you not to. That just won't do. Guess I'll have to punish you a bit. You know, I heard when dogs make a mess, you're supposed to stick their noses in it. But, you also did disobey me. So how about we add some spankings on top of that? Hey, hey. what I say about reasoning with unreasonable men? I am a fan of choice, however, so I'll let you pick, right hand, or left. Oh, sorry, was that my left, or yours? Hmm, guess it don't matter now. Is this all it takes to make you cry? Are you sure you're a man? Look at me. Hey! You gonna make another mess, boy? No, what, boy? There should be a sir in there somewhere. Good. Now pull yourself together. Still got an evening to enjoy, and the night is very young.